Gen X in the Cape Fear River is drawing plenty of concern and attention. But a North Carolina researcher says another chemical compound in the river could potentially be even more alarming. CBS North Carolina's Bominick is digging deeper into what's in the water and what people need to know. I would say that these are probably a more urgent concern than some of the other compounds. I first spoke with Dr. Jamie DeWitt in July about Gen X. She studied the chemical compound at her lab at ECU. Now I'm asking her about Nafion. The EPA says Chemors release byproducts of that compound also into the Cape Fear River. For these two Nafion products, they're are no information, there are no data that are publicly available to help us understand what they might do. Chemors and the state agreed in court Friday that the company would stop the discharge of Nafion in addition to Gen X and turn over confidential business information to environmental officials. I reached out to the company today. Trying to see if Chemors has a response to this. If you can give me a call back. DeWitt tells me studies are needed to look into how toxic Nafion is when it's in the drinking water supply. Also to determine exactly how much is in the Cape Fear. I asked her what else about Nafion has her concerned. The concern is potentially greater because we know even less about these two compounds and they have more carbons. And we generally regard, although this is not always the case, more carbons to be more toxic. Bo Minnick, CBS, North Carolina. DeWitt also says similar compounds in Nafion have led to certain types of cancer in the past. Chemers did not respond to us today. Previously, the company said it's working closely with officials to determine the next steps. We're also working to get an interview with the Department of Environmental Quality.